Good morning, what's up? As you can see, my face is so red because I just did a Matthew Vautour workout. I listened to or watched some of his IG stories yesterday and I realized that I've been saying his name a little bit wrong. Anyway, Danielle is coming now and we are gonna record a podcast, an intro. We have a guest on today at 11, so that'll be fun. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys, I'm just listening to this podcast and they're talking about wearing a bra. And I feel like I've always thought that not wearing a bra would lead to saggier boobs. And I have like really big boobs, so you can probably see. Um, and they were just saying how, and I've heard this before, obviously, so it's not, it's not the first time I've heard it, but they were saying not wearing a bra is actually better because your muscles have to be stronger and do strengthen because they're holding your boobs as opposed to relying on something to support it. So what are your guys' thoughts on that? Let me know down below because I literally have no idea. Also, this is the Skims tank top and I honestly didn't know I didn't think I liked it I thought it was kind of like oh this is a waste because it's not really like thick rib but I do really like this now because it kind of holds my boobs up just enough maybe if I made a different decision here or there but it really is about the process and about the journey and it's not about the end result it's like obviously maybe in art therapy you're not having a goal in mind at all it's really just giving yourself that freedom whereas you know in real life you might but it's really just about like living in the experience because it's the experience that's going to help you discover um, or rediscover things that you know are gonna help you grow in the long run okay so danielle and i recorded that podcast and it was actually really great so we're really excited to launch that again i'll drop all the information down below because the episode will not be out for a few weeks probably in august actually um but as you guys can see i have makeup on I put dark lipstick on today for one of the first times. It's a Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'll link it down below as well. But um, Danielle and I are gonna shoot in probably like two-ish hours. But before then, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. But before that, I actually wanted to show you guys this massive Aritzia bag that I got. So I wanna show you guys some of their pieces that I'm obsessed with. Um, I'm obsessed with for summer. I thought they were so cute. I might return a few things, not gonna lie, because um, I'm trying to you know, be a little bit more mindful of my spending, but I really wanted to show you guys my top picks because they're super cute. So, the first thing is this skirt. This is a really cute silk skirt. It comes with a waistband that's elastic. I got a size two, hopefully this fits probably will and it's just a really great length so you can wear it with like a big oversized sweater on top or a cardigan and it comes in like probably like 10 different colors including more fun colors like neon green so this is definitely something that I thought would be a great staple for summer next up we have the shorts so white shorts are really good for summer too and something high-waisted I always love because then I can wear a crop top with it and don't have to worry about my stomach if I'm eating or drinking a lot like you do in the summer um, when you're like going to dinner parties and picnics in the park I guess because that's what we're doing this summer. Um, these are really cute. These are called the Labernith. Um, and these are in the color light birch so really nice and the belt loop is also big enough so you can put in a belt to wear these with so love that the palette for this is also very neutral so just a little disclaimer next up we have these okay so i didn't know how these were going to be but okay size two maybe is a bit small for me you just got to keep on with that goya training program so hopefully i'll be fine but my butt might grow so we'll have to see how that works but i like these because they look like bicycle shorts but they're not they're they're actually a lot thicker in fabric, but I thought they were nice and white because you know when you want to wear a blazer, sometimes I don't know if I love the idea of wearing cycling shorts with a blazer. I'm not set on it. It's like, it seems a little bit off. So I thought this would be a great alternative. And these are the Forte shorts in white. Then we have some summer dresses. So I love this. It looked amazing online and it looks just as amazing in person. So there's like a really random print on it and it, and, and it really reminded me, it actually really reminded me of Reformation, but since Reformation is like canceled, um, I'm not gonna be shopping from them for a while. 
or until I see you know some sort of change that they're going to decide to implement into their production structure, manufacturing structure, ethical mor moral structure, company structure. So um, I thought this was so cute and we'll have to see how low this sits on me because I have big boobs and I need to make sure my bra doesn't show, but if you don't need to wear a bra, definitely think this is cute. And this is the Vita dress in the color coconut dill, which is this color. And then we have another Sunday's best dress, which is this one here, really cute as well, very similar. I think the V might be slightly lower, but it has like those kind of like granny details and it's a polka dot dress, lace trimming on the sleeves, very cute as well. I'm actually going to Amsterdam and to London, so I wanted to bring some stuff with me that I can't shop because I will be gone for the rest of the summer since I am paying rent in my flat still, so that's fun. Okay, then there's this. Okay, see, so it didn't turn out as nice as I thought it would be, but I'll have to try it on. So this dress here has a cowl neck. I personally like cowl neck because I have bigger boobs and I feel like it looks nice. And I can also wear a strapless bra under this. Um, but we'll see, this is actually a version, a newer version of a dress that I have from them. It just seems like a slightly thicker fabric, which is actually quite nice. Um, and this here is the Canto dress in sage. So very cute as well. And it's pretty long as you can see. Then I thought this was very cute online. And it's very cute in person. So this is a big, big blazer. It is the agency blazer in size medium. I got it oversized because it was sold out. It's actually, oops, I don't wanna get makeup on that. Um, look at my, my, my whole outfit matches. You definitely have to steam it, but you kind of get the vibe. And then I also want to show you these that I actually got at Aritzia, but at the store, so it didn't come in the package, but I got them like a couple days ago. These brown leggings, so these are knee length leggings. So we got these in black and in brown because brown is super in for summer and probably for fall as well but I also really like that they go to the knee because that look I know these are more leggings but I do like how this color brown looks with an oversized blazer just like a really cropped rib tank just something short that's like I don't know very casual but trying to like look elevated I actually took a photo on my Instagram and posted it which I can link right here for you guys to check out but a look like that is something very cute um, and also comfortable so that with the kitten heel is definitely something that I'll be styling all of the rest of summer for like a night out. Um, but yeah, that's that. So that is all of the stuff that I got. And now I have to figure out what outfits to wear to shoot with Danielle. I have a bunch of selects that I made over there um, pre-planned, which I never do, but I finally started doing because I realized how much more effective I am when I know how something looks and I know how confident I feel in my look. So I'm gonna get changed and um, then we'll see Danielle again. Alrighty guys, so I just went to the grocery store and all I got were these two bags of groceries because I had to get, uh, because I also had to get a couple of pills, like supplements, $300 almost. I cannot, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but every time I go to the grocery store, I always spend way more money than I want to, and I get like next to nothing. So if anyone else has that problem, let me know. And I'm not gonna unbox this for you guys because it's just a lot of work, but I'm sure I'll show you my favorite snack ever. These perfect bars. I don't know if I showed this in the last video, but these are the best snack ever peanut butter and peanut butter chocolate chip. And then also another really good snack, that's one of my faves, is this one here, Midday Squares. Really great, the guys, the team, two guys, one girl, who founded this are awesome from Montreal. And this is the almond crunch flavor, which is like slightly healthier, I don't know. The other one basically tastes like a chocolate bar, even though it's healthy. Um, but as you guys can tell, I really like my snacks. We're back. We're and back and we're matching. Except we actually, we went to like a tea party. 
Well, like a, the shoes that I actually want to wear are in my bag. They have a way? little bit of a heel, so I. Oh yeah, not well, we're gonna have to like walk up a hill, so. Okay guys, I'm home now and I just wanted to show you the mask that I picked up. For those of you who don't know, I have a clothing line and it's called Lorena. It is a women's wear collection, but we have also introduced some masks and satin scrunchies as well. So these are our masks. So I wanted to show you what our masks look like for any of you interested in fashion masks. Super cute. So they have the inside is a moisture wicking antibacterial fabric. It's called Chiodo Sante and it is a sustainable fabric. And then we have our satin on the outside and then these ear straps on the sides. So these are great. We have them in we have them in a few colors. So we have champagne, emerald, the baby blue, and then we also have black, which we are sold out of right now, but we are making more. And I'll leave the link down below for that so you guys can check it out because, yeah, they're super cute and they retail for $24. So I might introduce a, like, buy two sort of um, package like we do for our scrunchies, but for now they're sold individually and you can machine wash them and they're great. Bella's here. She didn't get her W-A-L-K yet today, so she is not happy about that. And I'm just gonna look like a boy for the rest of today, so hope that's cool. I just wanna show you guys the lunch I made. So here we have a super delicious lunch. We have um, vegan sausage, we have beets, half an avocado, lettuce, olive oil, and vinegar, balsamic vinegar dressing. I'm gonna probably add a little bit of caramelized onion hummus because it tastes really good and and on top i have this ebtb seasoning which if you can guess it spells out everything but the bagel seasoning it's like the trader joe's one that everyone's obsessed with and i'm obsessed with and it's so good not necessarily for a salad but it makes things a tiny bit salty so it's super delish for sure um yeah that's why i just wanted to like touch base and see what the like if we have any promos or anything coming up or if there's any like assets that I can maybe help you with um, at the moment or for anything upcoming because I can definitely do that. Um, I also... Hey guys, first restaurant since COVID happened, but we have to make a reservation on our phone in order to get in <laughs> because if not, they won't let us be seated, which is really annoying. But also Binta's right over there, what are the odds? <laughs> Cheers. Thanks so much. What's up guys? It's Friday today. Today is a very exciting day because I'm getting my hair dyed brown. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a very long time in quarantine and I just want it dark. I kind of want my hair I kind of want my hair to recuperate for it to be healthier and I decided that the best way to do that would be to go dark and not to bleach my hair for a bit. And also just kind of interested in seeing a little change. So a little nervous now thinking about it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. My eyes will stand out, it'll all be good. Um, so I'm gonna go do that now and I'll show you guys what the process is like. Cause they told us to come 50 minutes ahead, to wear a mask, to call when we get here, this whole thing. So let's see how that goes, but I'm excited. <music> Dimension in the hair. Okay. Um, we're gonna kind of, it's gonna be like a really tone on tone balayage. I 
biggest thing is that it doesn't look reddish. So I think whatever, if it's not gonna look reddish, then I'll be happy. Yeah, no, we don't want red. Guys, I don't know how I feel right now. It's so dark, but I do like how the blonde frames my face. I feel like it's a little reddish, but like, I guess that's just how it is. I don't know. What do you guys think? Come here. <laughs> how dark is my fucking hair? Right? It's really dark. Okay, wait, let I don't me know. See. I know. I don't really know how I feel. I don't know if it's gonna get lighter if I wash it. Okay, I like it, but it's like definitely. It's really dark. Like, I didn't really want it this dark. It's oh my god, so it's so different. weird. It looks like a wig. Yeah. Like, I can take it off my head. No, I like it. So guys, we shot. We failed. Are we conquered? I don't know, it's so fucking hot. It's still too bright at this hour. What time is it? It's like 7.30. But, that's okay. I forgot my glasses in my car. So, Danielle was going like this. But like, we do that anyway, I feel like, most of the time. Yeah. It's cute. So cute. Also guys, this sweater and matching short set is so cute. And my friend just launched her company um, where she has been tie-dyeing these all quarantine and she finally launched an Instagram page, so I'll link it down below. But this sweater, the quality is so good. It's way better than like the H H Hanes ones we ordered. Oh yeah. That one's like falling apart. No, I think I ordered mine, it was, it was a D. This it's is Fruit of the Loom and it's literally like- No, mine was like Dil Dilson. Dildo? <laughs> no, maybe I'm Dillons? Dillons? Dillions? Dillions? Like the gym? I don't know. Alrighty guys, I'm back at home. I'm gonna put you down for a second. You can't see me at all. And I picked up some Miku, which is really amazing towards sushi. For those of you who've never had it, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, but it's really delish and probably the best in Toronto. If it isn't, let me know, but I think it is. So it's salmon and it has these like jalapenos on it. It's so good, it's like just enough spice. You don't even need soy sauce. And then I also got a tuna roll, which I didn't need. I'm like a little hungover, so vibing with the food and the carbs. And then I got broccoli gomai, and gomai is like my favorite appetizer at Japanese restaurants. Um, and this is a broccoli version. Usually it's just spinach gomai, but this one looked really good. What is up guys? Good morning. It is actually almost 12 already. Um, but today is a big day because we have our tie-dye shoot. So, I know my hair is brown again. It's like kind of weird. Um, you can see like there's some highlights on the front, which I really like, but it still feels <laughs> really dark. And I feel really pale because I'm not wearing any makeup. So that's the tea. Um, but I'm about to get picked up by Liv. Um, she is a creator and makeup artist um, from Toronto. And then also Vanessa, who is a creative and content creator from Toronto. And then we are going to Ruby's, and Ruby is a photographer and content creator and creative director from Toronto. So we're going to collab on the shoot for the tie-dye drop for Lorena. And I'll show you guys the suits when we get to the, the space. Um, they're really dope. Liv and I did a collab, and it's really good. And I think they're going to sell out really well. So I also want to show you guys my look today. So I'm wearing this sweater, which is sporty and rich. It's just like an oversized sweater, but it's really, really comfy. And then I cut these this morning. So these were like long white leggings and they're a little longer than I wanted to cut them. I kind of wanted them to be more like that, but I didn't know what to wear with this and my black biker shorts were dirty. So I thought these would be a good solution. Um, so yeah, that's my look. I, I, I'm allergic too. <laughs> okay guys, so we're on location shooting. We have the setup right here and then the girls are just changing. 
we are doing the olive body suit first. So we have three, as you can see here. Um, but the olive one is honestly my favorite. And then there's also matching socks, which Liv has somewhere, which I'll find. Um, matching Nikes that match the tie-dye. Um, so I think it's a really good look. There she's again. This time planned. planned. In Coda. Coda. And guys, yeah. it's so yeah. hey! Oh, good back at you. So nice out. It's really perfect. It's amazing. We just had we're eating some food. It's actually really good. It's delicious. It's like enough, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. 